eight days I had to walk with gallons of water on my struggle stroller. Hi, I'm Keita Billions and this video is going to be, I don't know, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty open. It's gonna be very transparent. I really don't know where to start. Let me say my disclaimers before I start this video. And Lord, just please allow me to just use clean words as I explain my situation. So disclaimer, at this point, I don't care. I take full responsibility for allowing things to get where they've gotten. Like I take 100% full responsibility. Okay, okay. Now this video might be a little long and it may be all over the place, but I'm gonna still say what I have to say. I've been in a situation ship for five years. It has been the stupidest experience ever. <laughs> like just thinking about it now. But anyways, in this situation ship, you know, I've been bullied emotionally, physically. I've been threatened. <sighs> and in this situation ship, like I've been working on myself and my family at the same time because I'm just a person that believes in getting and doing better. And that's probably where I went wrong. I should have just developed my, <coughs> knowing that I was in a situation ship, I should have just developed myself, but not wanting to be selfish, you know, I didn't do that. And this is my lesson. When a person doesn't want to be helped, they always look at you like you think you're better than them. You think you know better than them. You know, you think you deserve better than them. And they just develop this, they just develop all kinds of negative things about you, the person that's, that cares and, you know, you just want better for everybody. Listen. I was left in this 800 square feet apartment with all four of my kids, three of which belongs to Situationship. Situationship quit his job, left us with no running water, Lights about to get cut off. Rent due on the first of the month. All the bills due. Everything due. Okay. All over a PS4 and shared car keys. Not even this situation ship left because they couldn't handle things. They don't know how to be controlled. They don't know how to lead. They don't know how to grow. And then they make you feel like it's your fault. So let me create some chaotic BS to make it seem as if this is a problematic situation ship that I need to exit because I'm not man enough to do what I need to do yet I'm man enough to bring three lives into this mess I'm man enough to sit up all day knowing I need to get me and my family into a better situation and just play video games no they left 
situationship left because I was too controlling. Here I am being that I'm taking initiative to learn how to be more financially stable, learn how to build a successful business, learn how to elevate myself and exit the rat race. Here I am doing that. And because you feel like you're inadequate or you're incapable of doing the same things, I'm controlling. That makes me controlling because I'm taking initiative to tell you where the money should go. I allowed a grown boy access to my life for five years. And now I'm in a situation with all of my kids that I have to work extra hard, which I don't mind, okay? <laughs> I don't mind, because at the end of the day, I still have to be mama. I still have to wake up and go. I still have to wake up and take care of me. I still have to make sure that I am healthy and happy and still able to love for them. Because it's been five weeks with no water and nobody seems to care. You have your own flesh and blood sister, unfortunately, trying to have your own kids get taken away from you because of their own stupidity, because they hate themselves so much, because they are so miserable that they have to come into other people's lives and fuck their shit up. If you got a, a family member that you don't really mess with and they have problems with their child and their child call you, you tell that child, call 911 and mind your business. Call 911 and mind your business. You have these selfish people that only want to linger around in your life when it's beneficial for them. And then you got these, these grown baby daddies that want to believe in having multiple, you, you, you want to have multiple women and you can't even manage yourself. You can't even manage one. But you want to have multiple women. How? How? You cannot even manage one. You cannot get one woman to fall in love with you. One woman to love the simplest thing on earth. You cannot do. But you want more than one? Go walk in traffic. Go take a trip on 95. Go do that shit. That's what you need to do. Considering yourself to be a father... I told y'all this video is going to be all over the place. I'm about to let all my emotions out. Water off for a whole month and one week. And on, on top of that, like, situationship leaves when the water gets, gets cut off. When the water gets disconnected, situationship create that situation and left. <laughs> left with the car. Mind you, me and situationship, I'm here trying to, like I said, get the business together, get the business rolling, situationship, working at 95, you know, working at my 95 so we can keep things flowing, you know, teamwork, make the fucking dream work. I, I did what I needed to do to create more income for me, for us. And I started, you know, I made my little investment and I'm working on that little investment and that little investment starts bringing in the money yeah okay so the money coming in <clears throat> but you can't do nothing with that money yet until the shit start growing you can't touch that money yet until it starts growing that money needs to go wherever it needs to go to keep it flowing that's how business is operated
Not to constantly buy marijuana. Not to fucking buy more weed to spend. Not to sit up and buy video games that you're not even streaming or trying to make money from. The water situation happened. Situation ship bounced with the vehicle. With the vehicle. Leaving me, because there's no water, leaving me to have to walk back and forth with my little child in this hot ass sun 90 fucking 6 90 something whatever degrees to get gallons and gallons and gallons of water every single day plus food when it ran out and i'm begging and begging for the car because i have these children the car is in both of our names. We both invested in that car. Nigga, you put down the deposit. I did the tag. I did the insurance. And when your ass didn't have it, I made the payments. When you're doing shit with other people, it is no longer yours. It is not considered yours. It is considered ours. Eight days I had to walk with gallons of water on my struggle stroller that I had the baby in and on my little strawny shoulders that I can't fight with because <laughs> that's what the bully that's what the bully used to tell me oh you can't fight oh what I'm fighting ain't on my mind getting to the paper is on my mind Listen, at the end of the day, the situation ship was just a situation ship and it could have stayed just that, you know, he could have continued to be a grown boy and slug around. Not for me, for the kids, because at the end of the day, they are who suffers the most. Hell, I could do this shit by myself, no problem. I ain't have to walk to get water for myself. I had to get water for them. It's for them, four bodies that needs to be cleaned. Four bodies that I need water to cook with. Four bodies that I need water to wash the dishes with. Four bodies that I need to clean up after. Oh, but you know let me just let them stay dirty let me just let things just stay dirty because that's the kind of person that I am anyways and y'all people that be so quick to call these people to come pick up other people kids that don't give a motherfuck that ain't even helping the child like how you try to take a child from a person that's not harming them. A person that love them to the moon and back. Just to throw them to the wolves. To the enemy. Because in your mind, I'm no good. In your mind, I'm not as good as you. In your mind, because I don't have a fucking Louis Vuitton bag that I need to pawn because, oops, I forgot I still got bills to pay. Oops, I forgot I ain't got no gas money. <sighs> I'm so tired of people feeling like they are better than others just because their situation is different <laughs> oh especially the people that came from the same background like you never lived in roaches like your shit is so clean that it, it just never spanks like your ass wasn't constantly calling 911 on your baby daddy your husband but like I said in the beginning, this is my fault. Before this, five years ago, I didn't do the work. 
that I needed to be a better person. I didn't know how to do the work because I didn't know how to do the work. I allowed things to just happen. I allowed time to just pass. But you better believe, you better believe that I'm doing the work now consistently back to back to back every single day because you can only allow your situation to break you or you can allow it to make you and i have four people relying on me to make it four people counting on me to make it this water has been off and it's not my fault it's not it's not even my fault there's a water issue in the building unfortunately the complex puts the water in your name and because the water is in my name i get no water call the landlord come over here for what just to look in my fucking face Called the landlord, sent him the bill, all the bills. He comes over here, does absolutely nothing. We came up with a solution. He hasn't done it yet. I asked him, so what's going to happen to this $5,000 bill? His response to me was, I'm unsure. And I'm explaining to this guy, hello, this is not my fault. I cannot be responsible for this bill. I'm in an 800 square feet, two bedroom apartment. $5,000. I gotta say, this is a real challenge for me because I get to see who's really there and who really isn't. And I get to push myself a lot harder. <laughs> Whew. And like I was saying, these same people that that these negative demons be so quick to call on you because they they are in their feelings go take it to sister they don't do shit but try to take your children and throw their ass to the wolves they come storming your shit storming your place and oh this is this is this person got this you can go to this person you can go to that person and da -da 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 -da. You go to this, this, and you go to that person, and can't nobody do shit. But the bill in my name, so that makes me responsible. The bill more way more than the rent. <laughs> oh God! At the end of the day, I'm still gonna keep going. I, I haven't, I haven't stopped. I haven't given up. I mean, I, I keep feeling like it's just impossible. And then I have to fight that feeling because it is possible. <laughs> this is gonna pass and life is gonna go on. I just can't wait for that day. If you've gotten to the end of this video, and you want to support, just type in the comment section that that day is coming. Type in the comment section, section that day is coming. I appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel. And let's see how this turns out.